needle on me? Oh, you're a CNA. I, I didn't ask you if you had a needle. What am I? You have asked a, me if I have had a needle. Have a seat, CNA. Take a seat. Don't. She's a CNA. Watch out! Get him! Get him! Get him! Don't move. Crime is everywhere and is increasing. Therefore, the role of justice enforcers becomes extremely important. Let's explore with Code 33 their process of doing their duty to raise awareness and change themselves for the better. Today's video will bring you a lot of useful and interesting things. On August 21, 2021, police discovered the vehicle was signs of a traffic violation. Immediately, the police approached the car and requested an emergency stop to investigate. The vehicle driver is a woman. Hi. My name's Oscar Thuman. The reason I stopped you was because you didn't uh, stop for that red light and continue to the intersection. Failed to yield. So you pulled out and yeah. uh, we still had a green light for westbound traffic. Okay. Did you notice that when you hit the brakes? No? Okay. Where are you coming from today? Oh. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? I don't. You don't have, do you have anything with your picture on it? No. Okay. When asked to show identification, she was unable to provide any evidence. She could only react with the familiar shaking of her head. Okay. What's your last name? Um, M-A-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-Y and Taylor is person. Taylor, okay. Yeah. Would you be willing to step out of the vehicle for me yeah. and talk to me? Yeah, no okay. problem. Okay. So, just be honest with me, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that you are who you, who you say you are. Why? The, the photo that I looked at doesn't look like it's you. Yeah, yeah. It was issued in 2020. 2020. It also doesn't come back to a Rhinelander address like you had said. It comes back to a different address. Right. Okay. Well, I Park Falls. Correct. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, I moved to... So, are you who you are? Yeah, I mean, yeah. just to be yeah. straight with yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It just looked different than what okay. the... It, I've dyed my hair and stuff since then. Okay, you so have. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, And that's why I'm asking these, these yeah. additional questions. Okay. okay. Is there anything that you can provide to me to, to, to show me that who you are? I have a lot of my stuff in Rhinelander still. Like you don't I, have like a debit card, like a food card? I've been pretty broke right now. I just came here because I'm trying to find a better job. Okay. Even during the conversation, the woman was not alert and could not maintain eye contact with the police. And I'm detecting a, a slight odor of like a toxic beverage. Have you been drinking no. it all today? I can take a breath. Okay. I, I thought I, I got a whiff of something, yeah. but it, it could have been cigarette smoke or okay. it could have been something else okay. that, that with the wind. Taylor, why don't you just have a seat in the car, okay? okay. Um, and you're confident that you that's that's yes. who you are. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yep. And you don't have anything to provide name on it. No, or a I wish photo I did. ID. I have to go down to the DMV here. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Just remain your vehicle, okay? All right. Thank you. So. I was able to get a DOT photo issued in 2020. She has nothing with her name on it, no debit cards, no credit cards, nothing. And um, her name's Taylor Malkowski, and she says she's from Rhinelander. I said, what would the address, what's your old address then? Comes back to a Park Falls in her DOT, but she gives me a Rhinelander address. And I look at her DOT photo, and this is what I got issued on t in 2020, and it does not look... I mean, she's got two lip piercings now. Uh, it just doesn't look very much like her. And I pulled her out of the car just to ask her if she's willing to come out and ask questions related to that. Just saying, hey, are you are you confident that that's who you are? What's your social security number? You know, she seems older than born in 2000. The police then checked the entire vehicle, personal belongings in the vehicle, and her body, but could not find any specific evidence. And you're confident that when we're doing our search, we're not going to find an ID or anything else that with your name on it, like I've asked for four times? Um, yeah, I'm actually lying. Okay, so who are you? Um, it's not my first day out here. Dallas. Okay, what's your last name? Brand. Okay, why didn't you want to give me that information in the first place? Okay. So they took her to the police station to carry out the next steps of investigation. A dispute occurred late on the evening of June 26, 2022, at Walmart, forcing police officers to attend the scene immediately to resolve it. Upon arrival, the police discovered that the subjects were two young girls. They were still in a fierce conflict. What's going on? 
upset. We're fine. What? We're just having a moment. We're just like two best friends trying to argue right now. Like, yeah, you, uh, you guys been drinking? No, no we're just really like, having we're a, a moment. Heated argument. We just had some boys getting in between us, and they're really getting in between us, and we're just trying to figure it out. Where are they at? I mean, they're, they're going now. Gone, they're obviously. at their house, but um, I don't know. Six fourteen, twenty-two. Like, so the boys, y'all both like the same boy. No, we don't like the we same, boy, like the but same they're like two boy. Best they're two best friends. We're really homies with them, and it's a we've whole moment right now. With them. During the exchange, the police determined that both girls were at fault. One girl, Annabelle Albertson, refused to cooperate with the police and was subsequently arrested. Hey, here's a, what's your name? You got your ID on you? Let's go this route. I don't have my car. I don't have my nothing. I don't. What's your name? What's your name? Bell. B E L L E. Like the person. Okay. And your last name? Albertson. Okay. When's your birthday? I mean, it doesn't matter. Yep. yep. Turn off the your mind back. We're going to play that game. You don't want to give me your info? Then we're just going to go I this route. Okay. That you're rocks. Like you you're done you at this moment. I'm not going to play games with you and keep playing. You, you're going through two best friends in a distress right now. Like, you're yeah. not even caring to ask. Walk over here to this patrol car. I understand you guys, you guys, this is yeah. going on. I know we've been causing disturbance. Yeah. I know it's well, just been geez. a little disturbance. I know. Listen, bro, I understand. Don't call me bro. I'm, I'm Sir, what is your name? Officer Factor. Officer Factor, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so how much have y'all to drink? I'm not stupid. I know you're not stupid. When was the last time you had something to drink? Uh, like a long time ago. My mom said she's always in and out of jail. Well, do you have anything that's going to post break or stick me? I don't anything have anything. in your pockets? I mean, you can, you can fill. I'm not going to. I'm just making sure that there's nothing no, in them. No, nothing. No drugs, anything like that? What's in this key pocket? I don't pocket? do drugs. Nothing's What's there? in my pocket. You What's can this? You grab it. Is that your uh, bikini bottom is what I'm asking? Yes. If it's a bump, yes, it's my bottom. Look. Okay. The other person, Haley Link, was also detained for being drunk in public. How old are you? 20 minutes, my love. 20 minutes? I can see you around the curb. Jesus. And you can take my keys and I'll come pick them up with her. Oh, you're fine. When's your birthday? Uh, I mean, when's your birthday? 2002. I'm not old enough to be drinking, correct? No, sir. I won't have any beers. That's fine. When you, uh, what's your first name? What's your real it's first Haley. name? It's Haley. It's H-A-L-I. Do you. you have your phone on you? Let's go grab it so you can call somebody. What are you doing with the alcohol in the car, too? Um, so I've been drinking yes. and driving. Right, Not me, that's just my friends. I've been this, driving this, this is I've done. drank three this beers at the yeah. lake, and she's been drinking in the car. You got weed in there, too, or what's no, that? No, Candle? That's just, a, that's just a bag. Okay. So you got extra set? I'm a CNA. Okay. Here, turn around for me. You're going to be placed under arrest for public intox. <laughs> then put your hands behind your back. You have a purse or a wallet you want to go with you? You have anything that's going to post quicker stick me? Just take the key and it's fine. No, obviously not, bro. I'm a CNA. Please. I don't care what a CNA. Okay, well, obviously not, I asked bro. if you had anything. I'm not. Listen you. to me. Would you shut your mouth? No, you I'm are sorry. being one. You violated oh, wow, a public offense. Oh, wow, wow. I had three beers and I had three beers. I'm a CNA, bro. What do you mean? You want me to get you for modern possession of alcohol, too, no, while we're ahead. at it? Go ahead. Shut the door. Yeah. Right, come on now. Let's go. Come on. What am I going to do? Whoa. Needle on me. Oh, you're a CNA. What am I, I didn't ask okay. you if you had a needle. What am I, you have, asked me if I had have a needle. Have a seat, CNA. You. Take a seat. She's a CNA. Even after being handcuffed, Albertson still tried every way to escape. Stop touching me! Stop touching me! Stop! Stop touching me! I'm a f She is ready to fight with the police. As for Link, during the chaos of the situation, she tried to escape from the patrol car. However, the police did not let her succeed in doing that. In the end, both were arrested and charged with many crimes. Hopefully, these girls will learn their lessons and never violate again. Due to the reason of driving exceeding the speed limit, this woman was asked by the police to stop her car for inspection. How you doing, ma'am? I'm Officer Lujan with New Mexico State Police. I know, I was going too fast. I way, to the way so too fast. How fast do you think you're going? Uh, 75, 80. I'm so sorry. I just really need to poop. Got <laughs> I'm just you. trying to get home. So I listen, apologize. 95 miles an hour. I'm so sorry. I'm driving, I know. And, and you made the wide radius turn and then literally was like... I'm 
Tennessee driver. Okay. I do apologize. No I'm worries, so sorry. No worries. Do you have insurance? Uh, yes. Well, it's all my ex husbands. I actually like don't have it. So if you want to give me a ticket, and no worries. I go to court and look it up. How you pronounce your last name? I want you to be honest with me. How much have you had to drink tonight? A couple of drinks. What's a couple of drinks? Tonight? Um, Stay right here, two Red Bull vodkas. Two Red Bull vodkas. Last drink. Um, probably like 20, 30 minutes ago. Can you describe the size? Just a regular. Can you describe them? A short. A short. Please don't arrest me. I've How never long? been arrested before. How long Can you please just let me go? Like 30 minutes, 20, 30 ago? minutes. And then where was that at? Um. When the police asked questions, the woman gave enough reasons to justify her wrong actions. She persuaded me with concern and an extremely sincere attitude. However, the police will not trust it so easily. Everything needs concrete evidence to conclude. What? Can you please have my friend pick me up? No. Please, no, 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 listen, no. We're not no, even to the no, point of what please, you're, you're, please, you're freaking out about. Please, please, my friend was following me. Can, so listen, please, are you going to cooperate with my chest down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, just look, relax. Please. Take a deep breath. I know I f***ed up. Listen, I'm just trying breath. to get home. Take a deep breath. Therefore, the police asked the woman to take an FST, field sobriety test, and she agreed. It was quite late. The woman was not able to complete the test well. Taking her to the police station for a breath sample is the right thing to do now. Go and stop. Miss, I'm going to have you walk to the front of my uniform, please. Are you going to arrest Straight me? Straight to the front bumper. Just walk to the front bumper. Are you going to arrest me? We're going to talk over there, ma'am. Can you please? Walk please, over there, please. please. Can you give me a second okay, don't chance. Don't put your hands on your back, please. No, sir. Don't resist, ma'am. No, I can't. Don't be silly. Can, don't. I, can I let somebody know? I'll give you your cell phone. You're going to call here in a minute. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Is that a possibility? Yes. Yeah. Sitting in the back of the police car, the girl began to show an annoyed and impatient attitude. She kept screaming. When she arrived at the police station, she also showed signs of being uncooperative. However, everything will still be clear. Can you guess whether she drinks alcohol or not? Through the tracking process, the police approached the violating car. The driver made a sudden turn during the move. After that, the car drove away at a very high speed, potentially affecting the traffic situation. When the police approached, the driver refused to lower the window. It took a long time for the police to get the driver out of the car. Down or open your door there, big dog. Watch out, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. Don't move. Stay over there. He protested violently and refused to cooperate with the police. With such an attitude, he was arrested soon after. Damn, aren't you on probation? You're on probation too. Uh, don't be moving. Quit moving. Be moving. Quit moving. All right. What happened to your neck brace? Also, you got. I'm not. I'm not nowhere. Listen to me real quick, Mr. Gill. You got anything on? You can't understand mumble. Fucking talk. No. Excuse me. No. I don't understand mumble. Do you talk with inflection or do you yeah, like? Spread your feet. Bad deal again. Look at me. Quit moving your feet. I'm not going nowhere. I promise. I know you're not. I know you're not. Because if you act a fool, I'm put you on the ground. I know. I ain't even gonna try no well, more. Well, don't. I'm just, I'm just standing still, bro. Spread your feet. All right. And quit fucking moving. Uh. I got it. You can do it. The rest. What are you worried about? Well, what would you got to go to jail? I'm tired of going to jail, yeah. I'd make different career choices. You think you're tired of putting me in jail? Good feet. After the discussion and inspection, the driver was discovered to be in possession of drugs. He also faces a charge of resisting a public official. Finally, the police concluded that he had committed 13 serious crimes and was urgently arrested. It's dangerous to let him free in the community, isn't it?
I ask you a simple yeah, question. Yeah, but you flipped it fast and said, well, how about this? It's drug money. You're a drug dealer. That are okay, well, if you already feel like that, then why is you even faking like you're okay. trying to... Okay, I'm giving you an money. opportunity to say, hey, right. here's why I have this fat stack right. of cash. I'm telling you why I have a stack of okay. cash. Okay, why do you keep reaching here? I ain't got nothing. I'm not reaching for nothing, okay. bro. Well, you're going to jail for the gun, the, the weed, your warrant. I didn't have none of that. Okay, I didn't well. have none of that. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you about... The police received a call from a supermarket about a woman exhibiting unusual behavior, continuously hurling insults at other customers. Upon receiving the information, the police quickly arrived at the scene, where the woman continued to display extreme agitation. What's going on? Oh no, no, are you seriously calling the cops? I just got I'm trying to argue with my boyfriend. I'm trying to my wife. I'm trying to... He's literally coming out of the case at home. No, hey, let me just talk to you. You're not, you're not in uh, trouble right now, but you're a little... Boy, it's, no, because I'm having a hard time. My house burned down a week ago. My boyfriend smoked up the... Uh, okay. Oh, come on. Hey, Ma'am, do not walk away from us, okay? Oh, let me talk right to you. Now. You're not in trouble right now, but we got called to make sure that you're okay and to check you're pretty erratic right now. Look, my house burned down a week ago. Okay. I got into an argument with somebody. Oh, okay, oh. well, talk to oh, me about it. Oh, my fucking God. Listen, talk to me about I it. I lost my money. My boyfriend smoked up all the American Red Cross ones that we had in crack. Okay. Because now, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm, 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 Got your ID on you? No, I don't. But okay. why did they call me so just argue with me? I don't need this right now. Listen. She incessantly talked and danced in front of the officers, who remained remarkably calm during the interaction. Observing the woman's erratic speech and behavior, the police suspected she had used drugs that impaired her ability to communicate normally. Yeah, your, do, your, yes. your, your behavior is not behavior normal. Is not I'm, normal having, right I'm angry and I'm having anxiety. I'm trying to calm down. You're talking a million miles a minute. I understand. I understand, but now it's time to calm down. Okay, so I can a cigarette. Now. What's that? I have severe anxiety, I have PTSD, I, I'm, I'm in recovery, and my house just burned down. I have life in these Red Cross funds, and you smoke them off. I'm living on the street right now, where I have raped and robbed every other freaking month. How dare you accuse me of being on drugs, because I'm going through a hard time right now. How dare you accuse me of being on drugs, because I'm going through a hard time right now. They promptly handcuffed her and escorted her out of the supermarket. Continuous screaming and resistance characterized her actions as she attempted to kick towards the officers and roll on the floor in an attempt to escape. The police faced significant challenges getting her into the vehicle, a testament to the rigorous training they undergo. The officer's composure throughout the ordeal is truly commendable. Despite her relentless yelling and cursing, the officers drove on, knowing that the correctional facility would soon welcome her. The police respond to a call at the scene of an accident where a woman, driving with her daughter, crashed directly into a fence, leaving the car completely wrecked and raising suspicions about the cause of the incident. She had bad tires, it's kind of slick, there's a lot of traffic, cause of the gun to go through. Is that legal clear by? Do you have your insurance and your registration for the vehicle? Of course. Where were you headed? I was, I was going downtown because I have an appointment. Okay, where do you have an appointment at? Um drug court. Okay. And I was late, but I wasn't like speeding or anything. But I've never been down this road, so this road before. I was just trying to make a shortcut. I was trying to turn and look how bad our, our tires are. Well, his tires. My car's been shot. Okay. I'm probably late anyway so now. Vincent's your husband? Yes. Well, come along. As the investigation begins, 
The woman initially shows signs of drowsiness and delayed reactions. Furthermore, she admits to using various medications, including a prescription taken earlier in the day. So you didn't see the fence that was in front of you, or what happened? So why, why, why aren't you, why, how fast were you going? Not fast at all. At all. Some, some serious damage to the fence. I was not going fast. This one is right there. Daddy, what the fuck? I don't think so. She's in drug court right now. And she's checking in every day. Every day she's doing a P tax. Well, no, every day she's doing a meeting. And every other Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she does a, um, a drop. It's so hard to just straight into a fence like this. It's to me, too. To me, too. But, so, I mean, when she lifts her eyes a little too. Yeah, but she's got a, she not, has a not psychiatrist. That's why I'm speaking no, about it. No, let's go to the psychiatrist, and I went with her the other day, and he changed her, her medications, and she was like falling asleep a little bit before I left the house. I was going to go crab. What medication she takes? I don't know what, it's, what it is, but it's too strong. She confesses to taking one of the prescribed medications at 1 p.m., which is three hours before the accident. Her husband arrives at the scene and reveals her history of drug addiction, though she is currently in the recovery process. Subsequent police investigation uncovers a bottle of Xanax, along with drug paraphernalia and two unopened bottles of alcohol recently purchased. A DUI investigation ensues as she fails to complete any sobriety tests at the scene, leading to her arrest. I'm going to call a tow and have it get towed up in a second, but I'll let you grab what you need, stuff in the trunk, is that what you need? Yeah, um, trunk can so go box. So I just want to let, let you know, um, in the bag, in her purple purse, she did have a needle. Yeah. Can she come? I don't want to say this in front of her. I don't just, we, we, we can talk right here. She, One second, honey, okay? Right there. Well, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. Her purses. I don't know if it was used or not. If she's saying it's old, but I might know. It might be because that's the rest she had. Well, some girl was with her. And had. So just confirming that. those two bottles of alcohol. You haven't had anything else to drink other than. I did not drink. Okay. Had no alcohol today at all. Okay. Do you have any explanation for why you can't do the sobriety test? Why your eyes are so droopy? Why your eyes are so bloodshot? I know that what's your name threw something under the seat last week when you got arrested. I do know that, but I don't know what, what else. Why'd you buy liquor? Because I bought it for you. Uh, got enough. I don't drink no more. A car undergoes inspection at a DUI checkup, and the police quickly notice the young woman lacks sobriety as soon as she steps out of the vehicle. After exchanging information, she is subjected to the same sobriety tests as other drivers. Stand right here, please. I got you. I want to make sure you get a okay? Yeah, me too. Stand right here facing my vehicle, or facing me, sorry. Obviously on the side of this checkpoint, the officer, Daniels, he actually approached your vehicle at 2202. Yeah. What happened there? I didn't know there was a checkpoint, I just... Okay, checking alcohol as I approach the vehicle. I smell alcohol. I'm just go inside the vehicle, I'll pull you out. Got your driver's license, okay? How much have you had drink tonight? Two beers. Two beers? What kind of beers did you have? Seven Ks. Seven Ks? Yes. What size? Like an hour ago. About an hour ago? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll bring you down. You want to put your wallet in your pocket here? Okay. However, the unmistakable scent of alcohol lingers on her body, evident when she fails the tests. Her legs tremble as she struggles to maintain balance while attempting the one-leg stand. Fifty-three, fifty-two, fifty, fifty-one, fifty, fifty-nine, 
Seven. Following this confirmation, she is arrested for DWI. The police proceed to inspect the car, discovering an open bottle of alcohol right on the driver's seat. At the police station, the woman undergoes a breathalyzer test, registering a staggering 0 0.20 blood alcohol content. Aggravated. Aggravated? I'm gonna have you walk over here, lift your hands up off your back. I'm gonna have you double check your pockets, make sure you don't have anything you're not supposed to have, okay? Today's video concludes here. How do you feel? Comment below to let Code33 know your thoughts. If you find it helpful, share the video with friends, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about upcoming interesting videos. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.